Some critics contend the movie we just saw, Lewis Milestone's Halls of Montezuma, heavily influenced Stanley Kubrick's Vietnam movie, Full Metal Jacket. The two pictures had similar themes, and while the one we've just seen ended with a rendition of the Marines hymn, Full Metal Jacket, of course, closes with the Marines singing the theme from the Mickey Mouse Club, remember? For Richard Widmark, making war movies was as close as he actually came to battle. After a perforated eardrum kept him out of World War II, he served at home as an air raid warden. Halls of Montezuma was his first war picture, and it was so successful that many others followed. In Take the High Ground, a film about basic training, Widmark and Carl Malden virtually repeated the roles they had in the picture we have just seen. One final note, that was Jack Palance as Pigeon. He was billed under his real name, Walter. Not Walter Pigeon, Walter Palance. Now watch this. <laughs> Tonight on AMC, stay with us as we pay tribute to the fighting men of World War II with a special movie lineup. First, Steve McQueen gives a powerful performance in Hell is for Heroes with James Coburn and Bobby Darin. Then Audie Murphy portrays himself in the true story of how he became World War II's most decorated soldier to hell and back. And Don Amici and Dana Andrews are pilots aboard an aircraft carrier in Henry Hathaway's Wing and a Prayer. Be here for our Memorial Day salute tonight, only on AMC. I can see you, but you can't see me. Where there's AMC, there's hope. I've been going places in show business. And May 29th, Bob Hope springs eternal with a day-long birthday marathon. What would my fans do? Watch Bob in some of his funniest movies. Say, this could be happy for me. Don't miss AMC's Bob Hope birthday marathon. Don't let it happen again. Next time, I'll lose my temper. Monday, May 29th, starting at 6 a.m. Eastern, only on AMC. No popcorn during my performance. Peasants. Help us make film history by saving it. Give generously to film preservation and get a great gift. Harrell's Hollywood. Call 1-800-AMC-3360 now and make a donation of $50 to film preservation. You'll receive this beautifully bound oversized coffee table book featuring 140 lavish portraits of the silver screen's most famous stars by Hollywood's premier photographer. Call 1-800-AMC-3360 now and have your Visa or MasterCard ready. Help preserve our glorious past. Give generously to film preservation. For Steve McQueen, today's feature, Hell is for Heroes, was in many ways a breakthrough movie. When he was approached by Paramount to play the leading role, he accepted, but he did have a few conditions. He asked that the script be rewritten. That script was written by World War II vet Robert Pirosh, who was also slated to direct the film. Okay, Pirosh went to bat for McQueen. He convinced Paramount Brass that McQueen's changes were very good ones. The studio agreed, but they also acceded to another McQueen condition. They fired Pirosh. They replaced him with Don Siegel, who at that time was best known for directing The Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Today's movie is credited with making Steve McQueen the anti-hero of the 60s. Here it is. Steve McQueen, Bobby Darren's in this one, and so is Fess Parker. You'll see James Coburn, several others. Hell is for heroes.